What's up, YouTube? Got a yo yo review to do today. This is the Corco Alley Cat. So, this Corco Alley Cat is a responsive metal yo yo. Uh, this, I believe, was the first responsive metal yo yo to come out this year. There were three major responsive metals that came out this year, all three of which did very well and uh, a lot of people enjoy uh, a whole lot. <clears throat> this was the first one. This was the Corco Alley Cat which was followed up by the One Drop Deep State, which very, very recently was followed up by the Rain City Gamer. All three of these yo-yos are great. I have all three of them. I love all three of them. I play all three of them all the time. Uh, the Corco Alley Cat is my most recent uh, addition to the collection. It was a birthday present from my beautiful, lovely, amazing wife. And uh, I've been enjoying it. So uh, let's talk about it a little bit. So as far as responsive yo-yos go, uh, out of the box, this was a little bit unresponsive, and by a little bit, I mean mostly unresponsive. Uh, came with one of those white pads that I don't like, and I'll, we'll get to all that when I take it apart, but I switched one of the pads out, and it's much better now, but it's still probably like the least reliably responsive of the three. Now, uh, this one was sort of created in conjunction with a lot of guys who play responsive and fixed axle yo-yo a lot so like ed haponic this is ed's favorite yo-yo of the year so um i'm nowhere near the level of expertise that ed is but i think i prefer the other two over the core cat alley cat uh, or the corco alley cat but that's not to say that this isn't fantastic so let's get into it here so this comes in at about 57 grams which is pretty much perfect as far as a responsive yo-yo's weight is concerned uh to me i feel like once you start to push over 60 grams or so uh it's a little too heavy for it to be kind of rocketing back to your hand so i feel like somewhere in the 55 57 58 gram range is pretty good for a responsive yo-yo because uh it's not gonna come back like a bat out of hell into your hand um it is a bigger diameter but similar shape to the deep state um so the Deep State's lighter overall, but it's also a smaller yo-yo. But this is a bigger, both bigger and wider. And I'm going to put all of the specs up on the screen here. Uh, but uh, it's bigger than the Deep State. About the same width, maybe a little bit light, wider uh, than the Responsive uh, Gamer. Uh, and uh, also a bigger diameter than the Gamer. So um, certainly the like largest of the uh, responsive yo-yos that came out this year um, but uh, also sort of the least v-shaped as well like least butterfly shaped as well like it's it's definitely more um, it's definitely a lot more like imperial shaped or like modified imperial than it would be butterfly um, but uh, seeing as how it is a responsive yo-yo it is good for all your responsive tricks, and because of the weight, it is good for stalls and stuff as well. I do wish it was a little bit more responsive, um, but let's go ahead and uh, throw it around a little bit, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, and we are back with the Corco Alley Cat. Uh, now, as you can see, kind of wide, pretty easy to catch on the string, but responsive. Um, I feel like the uh, fly away pullback tends to work pretty well with this uh, or just dropping the string uh, the grind finish is actually pretty nice on this it's not super shiny but it's also not blasted it's sort of a in between now you're not gonna really be doing many grinds with this but to do you know tricks like a uh, tape measure and I totally messed up the tape measure but to do tricks like a tape measure you want the yo-yo to spin be able to spin in your hand a little bit try that again and uh you know so the finish is nice for that it's got a nice little cut there as well to sort of remove a little bit of surface area so uh i like that it's a good uh, attention to detail there's also this little like spike thing in the middle here i guess it's some sort of a like hex nut to unlock for like bicycles uh which is kind of cool i guess i'm not going to use it on a bicycle but it looks neat and uh, provides a little bit of center weight to sort of stabilize your kickflips and stuff. And uh, I'm probably not going to be able to get a kickflip very good on camera, but let's try it out. Yeah, there we go. So, you know, kind of stabilize your kickflips a little bit. 
so very cool for that. You see Ed use that a whole lot in his videos with the Alley Cat. Um, and that's really kind of what made me want to buy this yo-yo. Uh, I feel like Ed Haponic is absolutely one of the guys who, like, when he starts playing a yo-yo, I'm like, I need that yo-yo. I want to buy that yo-yo. And uh, the Alley Cat was one of them. So uh, definitely really cool. It's really good for, like, old school tricks, too. Like, you know, splitting the atom. Cool for all that. Like, this would have been my absolute favorite yo-yo of all time had it come out in the 90s. And uh, the fact that, like, responsive metal yo-yos are becoming popular again uh, warms my uh, warms my 90s kid heart a, a lot. Uh, so, big fan of uh, just, you know, the level of, uh, you know, sort of semi-responsiveness that I have it at now. I re-lubed it after I got it, and uh, it, it's It's better. Much, it's much better now, so uh, I guess as sort of a warning, you may have to sort of set yours up a little bit at, fresh out of the box. I had to set mine up a little bit, but, uh, you know, it wasn't, uh, wasn't too bad. It was just, you know, needed a little bit of tweaking to get it to play the way I wanted it to play. And that's a pretty common thing, I'd say, with uh, responsive yo-yos. Uh, you know, you're not going to really be able to do thumb grinds or finger spins or anything like that, but that's not what these are for. Uh... Stalls are great on it. It's a great size and shape for that. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can really just kind of do everything you want uh, with it. Uh, absolutely, you know, a good big shape, too. Uh, so it feels a little bigger in your hands. I kind of have bigger hands, so that's cool for me. Uh, I think this was really targeted towards, you know, guys like me who are, like, in their 30s or 40s who played yo-yo, like, back in the 90s or the 80s or whatever. And, you know, are picking it back up again and playing unresponsive, but still sort of want to play with something that is responsive to both be able to do some of their newer, longer tricks that they learned on unresponsive yo-yos, but also to be able to do some fixed axle stalls and stuff like that. And I feel like the Alley Cat really kind of meets that, uh, meets that need, meets that demand. And, uh, I've been, I've been enjoying the crap out of mine. Uh, as you can see, I've, uh, fired it into the wall and into my ring a few times, which uh, just shows that it's getting played. Uh, mine's not nearly as beat up as some of Ed's are. If uh, he sometimes shares uh, pictures on Facebook of his, and his are always like all scratched up and beat up, but uh, mine's getting there, because I do play with it a lot, and I do really, really enjoy it. But let's go throw it on the desk, we'll take it apart, I'll show you what the inside looks like. All right, we are back on the desk with the Corco Alley Cat. Um, usually I don't like engravings, but I kind of like the way these ones work. So, Alley Cat here. Corco here as it flips like if you're kick flipping it it sort of shows the alley cat and the Corco I don't know if mine's just like that just because of the way I got it put together but uh, that's how mine works now and I like that I had to use kind of a thicker string to make sure I got the uh, level of response that I wanted um, but mine's pretty smooth uh, which I'm a fan of smooth responsive yo-yos as well as unresponsive yo-yos um, so definitely really cool especially because you know, the pads rub a little bit because it's responsive. You want them to. But anyway, here is what the guts look like here. Uh, you can see there's two different pads in it. This one has the sort of, I don't know, like the Duncan size, sized pad from like the olden days. Uh, I think if I pull this out, there is a uh, spot for a like one of these kind of pads. The regular old 19 millimeter pad. I think I can do that, and I might do that with this, because I feel like this kind of makes it a little slick over here. Um, this came with one of those white pads that I always complain about, so I pulled that white pad out and I stuck in a one-drop flow groove response pad, and uh, that, that's really been working a lot better for me. Um, the white pad, I know like once they break in, they feel a little bit better, but uh, out of the box, it, mine was practically unresponsive and sort of like you know, un, uh, unreliably responsive, which, which is not good for my, my knuckles. So, uh, especially with a metal yo-yo. So, uh, pulled that white pad pretty quick, uh, lubed the bearing up even more and, uh, stuck a one drop flow groove in there. And as you can see, as I was just tossing around, it's really, uh, I, I've got it about where I want it now, which, uh, is, which is what I like. So, um, much better now, but did need a little bit of setup out of the box to, uh, play to my liking, but you know, I, you'll have that, I suppose. Uh, also using a uh, zipline strings. This is the thick version. This is the Sam Hicks highlighter. Um, 
it just it it works in this and and the setup works well for me now and uh i'm liking it a lot more but you know that that's my sort of gripe about it i guess so yeah two different kind of pads in it um but uh comes responsive is supposed to be responsive uh tug responsive but still like not so responsive that it's just going to snag up on you and crack your knuckles if you're doing some string tricks so sort of Mine, now that I have it set up, is sort of the same level of responsive as my deep state is. So uh, that's kind of about where I want it to be. And uh, it, it's been working out pretty well pretty well for me, and I've, I've been having a good time with it. Um, but let's go ahead and do pros and cons. So pros, responsive. Great weight as well for a responsive yo-yo. Not too heavy where it's going to smash you, but not too light that you're not going to get good spin times out of it uh, to be able to do your little bit longer tricks. So uh, I like that. It's a good balance. Uh, the center weight is cool. I think this looks really cool. I think it's a very clean, um, good looking yo-yo. I like that it's an imperial as opposed to a butterfly, uh, but it's still got a pretty nice wide gap with sort of a little, little bit of a like modified flare in there to kind of get the string to fall in to the gap. Uh, size A bearing, which is, uh, I believe the only responsive yo-yo, uh, at least from this year that, that, uh, has the, uh, smaller bearing in it. So very cool. It's kind of a different feel overall. Than the other ones so it warrants having you know a couple different ones if you're into uh responsive play like i am and uh you know just a cool cool one to add to the collection comes in a couple of cool different colors i really like this blue a lot i'm really glad my wife got me the blue one i like blue yo-yos very much and this one is awesome it looks great um but uh you know it comes in black comes in uh supersonic haponic purple and uh you know i think it has a splash or two as well uh, very cool stuff. I think there's still some available on Yo-Yo Expert, or they just recently restocked them on Yo-Yo Expert or something. So uh, these sell out sometimes, but uh, definitely been a really fun Yo-Yo, and everybody that's got one seems to have a good time with it, and uh, I'm certainly having a good time with it as well. Uh, but uh, those are the pros. The cons are, like I said, right out of the box, a little bit unresponsive, at least not as responsive uh, as I would have liked it to be. Uh, I've played other ones as well that sort of were a little bit un a little bit too unresponsive, uh, but I put a one drop flow groove in there. It's much better now. Relube the bearing up. You're going to have to relube the bearing every now and then with thick lube anyway to keep it playing unresponsive. So that's not a big deal. Um, but my recommendation would be that if you're going to buy one of these, um, you know, buy buy a stickier pad as well. Maybe a one drop flow groove, get the thick one or something to that nature. Maybe one of the red pads or something. Just something that's a little bit of a grippier pad because I'm not sure if they all come with the white pad, but mine did. And uh, I, it was not responsive enough with that pad. So I uh, went and switched that out. Much better now, much more to my liking. I'm a big fan of it now. Uh, but out of the box, needed some tweakage to play the way I wanted it to play. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, this thing's great. Uh, it's really, really fun. It's a cool design. It's different than all the other ones. It kind of, you know, warrants, you know, having all three just to kind of play and see what, what the differences are. Because they all play a little bit different, but they all play really fun. And this one's really fun as well. So, uh, you know, check it out if uh, responsive uh, yo-yos are, are your thing. Um, but uh, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I do yo-yo videos every day. So make sure you come back and check it out. Uh, going to be taking off Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because you're not watching YouTube anyway. And I'm going to be with family. So you guys have a good holiday. Have a Merry Christmas. And uh, I'll see you before the new year to do some more stuff. Thanks for watching. Cheers to you. We'll see you next time.